Hi Aries, welcome to your first ever week ahead taroscope for 2022 with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember these uh, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Aries, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, up, more complete picture of how they're gonna speak to you. With that said, remember they are general reads. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody. That's just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your key to the week this week is the um, the tree of life right so this card for me is all about divine intervention and assistance now i always pay attention to the aries reading because in some way shape or form it's an energy that all of us are going to feel in some way right because yours is like when you look at the sign of aries it kind of represents the whole zodiac right in a sense so um I, you know i'm really really here for this now for you guys this suggests that you start this year with all of the magic baby right you got all of that good stuff right behind you this card always speaks to me the things that I often say with this card and it and it really rings true right the message with this card is literally that uh, divine assistance is when things people energies are going to show up for you over the course of this year they might only be small right whenever I say this to people I'm sure they expect sort of like you know lightning bolts from the sky and divine hands pointing at things saying this is for you it's not that right sometimes it's really subtle so you've got to be on the alert this would be a, a great week but also a great time from here on in to enhance your fine fi to fine tune your intuitive skills so that you can you know you can get a sense of okay I'm obviously being led to something here right so pay attention this week to what and who shows up for you divine intervention if there are any delays or challenges or issues with something this week consider that like a, the wing of an angel kind of saying to you nah -uh, little one this isn't for you all right so divine intervention and divine assistance i love this because it very often has for me like a wheel of fortune kind of feel to it so i'm totally here for it for those of you that are continued subbies from last year and beyond you know you absolutely have my heart for those of you that are new to my channel please don't forget to like share and if you should so choose and this resonates hit that subscribe button for your actions and options this week you got the ten of swords right do not fret do not fret i know a lot of you are probably looking at this like uh okay raf it's the ten of swords and you're telling us not to fret i'm telling you not to fret because this is in your actions and options this means that this week you are concerned with letting go releasing cutting away the dead wood whether this is friendships partnerships frenemies and all of that crap um this is really you deciding i mean this week it it really does suggest to me a few things one there is going to be something removed from your life there is going to be something that doesn't go ahead divine intervention and assistance right so something this week because it's in your actions and options this is likely to be something that you initiate or that you do you're choosing to release something to cut something away or to let it go uh, another way that this might show up for you is um, a path that you thought was for you may now close right a door to something might close and if it does it's just the universe's way of saying this isn't for you right and remember the beauty of this card is it's the end right no matter how tumultuous it is it's the end for your communications and conversations you've got the four of wands right so with the sours come the sweets <laughs> or with the sweets come the sours as it goes um for you've got the four of wands right this is in communications there is going to be an invite of some sort this week right so this could be somebody gets in touch and says look there's a party there's a this whatever it is there's an invite of sorts this week that could make all the difference divine intervention and assistance right so pay attention to the things that you're invited to especially if they've got an air of celebration about them because there's a chance that this could lead you to you know maybe this is consider this week of a week of breadcrumbs right the universe is going to leave little breadcrumbs out for you to follow and uh, it's up to you to jump in now for those of you that are employed by somebody else this is great news this could be the news that about the job about the career that you've been waiting for maybe this is the 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 
um, you know, maybe this is the moment at which you get the tap on the shoulder. Uh, this could also be you being celebrated in some way, shape or form. Um, and the funny thing is, because you've got this Ten of one, ten of Swords here, I almost get the feeling that um, just as you decide, you know what, I don't need praise, I don't need whatever, I'm good at my job and that's good enough for me, is likely to be the moment where it shows up for you. For those of you that are self-employed, business owners, etc., um, this is really, really nice, right? This is in some way a reason for you, your business and in your employees, if you have them to celebrate. This is likely to be either landing a big client, it could be the completion of a really big job, that's very possible because you've got this Ten of Swords energy here as well. So this could be the completion of something and you're like, Phew, you know what, it was a big job, but I'm glad it's done. For those of you that are retired or no longer working, one way that this might show up for you is through the familial ties or the friendship ties. This could also be that some gift or skill that you have um, you know, is celebrated in some way. So maybe somebody taps you on the shoulder or reaches out through your network to say, look, I know you're not working anymore, but I could really use your knowledge or your expertise or your assistance. So this could be really nice. It's likely to come through the familial ties for those of you that are um, retired, but it will be interesting to see how it shows up. For your love and relations, you've got the Queen of Cups. This really is for a lot of you about nurturing and nourishing your relationships. Now, there's a few ways that we could see this because you've got it underneath the Ten of Swords, right? So for some of you, this is a time where you're going to stop coddling somebody, right? This, in a way, because the, the Queen of Cups is all about nurturing, nourishment. It's about feeding the soul. It's about warm, fuzzy emotions and all of that stuff. But you've got this Ten of Swords here in your actions and options. And this feels for me like this is the week where you're going to say to somebody... I've carried you for long enough, right? And it's not about being mean, it's not about being cruel, it's about giving them their power back and it's about you taking your time, energy, resources, etc., back as well. Now, when it comes to partnerships, marriages, long-term commitments, etc., one way that this might show up for you is that you are ready to take the relationship to the next level. Maybe you're ready to get engaged very possible. Maybe you're ready to get married. Maybe you're ready to start a family. There's something about the relationship that it's like, it's really comfortable, it's really warm, but you're ready for more. And I think you're going to be very vocal about that this week. For those of you that are single, um, this is one of those weeks where um, I kind of feel like somebody is going to try to do the whole set you up thing. Um, I'm going to be honest with you because it's the Queen of Cups. This is usually the archetypal mother and wife. So it may be somebody that fulfills that sort of role for you. So maybe a big sister, maybe an aunt, maybe a mother, maybe a grandmother. Um, I've got to be honest, it doesn't look like you're here for it because it's the Ten of Swords in your actions and options. You might not be focused on that, um, but it is definitely a possibility. And then for your money and materials, you've got the Moon card, right? So on a physical health level, the first thing that I want to say to you is... Um, this is all about your hormones, your lymphatic system. Now, I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, but if there is anything that comes up for you this week, um, those would be good places to look, right? Uh, now, that being said, also, a Pisces woman may very well feature for all of you in some way, shape, or form. Uh, water sign female, moon card, Pisces ruled, Pisces woman. Um, now, uh, when it comes to those of you that are... Uh, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, I talked about that. When it comes to your home and environment, the moon card very often suggests that there is either someone or something coming back from the past this week, right? So don't be surprised if you get a, a text message, a phone call maybe, or even a knock on the door from somebody from your past. Very possible. Um, one way that this might also show up as well, you could be feeling a little bit lonely this week in the home, right? So if you live alone, I urge you to reach out to your network or your people. And if you've got any invites this week, go ahead, right? I know obviously the world is crazy again, but if you can get out and about or you get an invite, go ahead. This week it could really serve you well. When it comes to uh, your money and your finances, this is not a week for big purchases, um, but it does look like there could be this could be a week where your finances either get a boost of some sort, but it's short-lived, all right? So it could be kind of like, you know, like sometimes when, when uh, as an example, 
let's say you get tax rebate, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, like this is amazing. And then you get a letter through the door and it's like, you know, you, that you owe a certain amount of money and it's like just about covered by the money that's come in. This is why I say to you, whatever boost to the finances comes in this week, it is divinely sent, but it's kind of transitory. It's kind of one of those weeks where when it comes to money that comes in for you, easy come, easy go. And just let, like, be okay with that, all right? Just be okay with that, because it will serve you well in the future. That being said as well, finally, just want to quickly mention, remember, Jupiter is now in the sign of Pisces. So especially for those of you that are sun sign, um, uh, uh, especially for those of you that are rising sign Aries, you have guardian angel energy. When Jupiter is in the 12th house, it acts like a guardian angel, right? So you literally have guardian angel energy for uh, the next few months right up until May and then Jupiter is going to move into your sign which could be awesome to a lesser degree the sun and the moon but it's still that sort of technically it's still the 12th house right because it's the 12th house from your sun your moon or your ascendant so this could be really great with that said happy new year I truly hope you have a wonderful time of it take care and I will see you soon